Hey guys, this is Amit from Phonedar and today we're going to talk about the 10 things we know about the Android N preview that was just released by Google. The official release would be happening in the Google I.O. event which is going to happen in the May 18th to May 20th and that's going to happen in Mountain View. Now that's it, let's talk about what all are the new things which we have seen on this new version. I just uh, flashed this on the Nexus 6P smartphone and here you go. The first thing which you see here is the new quick settings and that's what you can actually customize. You can drag and drop uh, the tiles onto the area which would be actively shown to you or you can also make changes to the same. Again if you notice there's a system UI error which is showing up here and uh, that's something which is coming up regularly. So if you're using the Android N on your primary phone then it's not recommended to use because there are a lot of bugs and uh, the device keeps hanging once in a while. The next thing is the revamped settings menu. The company has kept most of the new stuff in the Android under the wraps before the surprise announcement of the developer preview. But one of the things that were alleged was the redesigned interface of the main settings app. And that rumor was spot on. And it's the same. There are small improvements and uh, the best part is that when you swipe from the right towards the left, you get a complete menu which shows you all the uh, settings and that's something interesting. And all the other things are actually split into subsections like the device sound and etc etc. So that's the all new settings area which you can find on this uh, new Android N. The next thing is the notifications. Now you can actually merge the notifications or directly reply to the notifications directly from the notifications area itself. You can just long press on the notifications for more options. You can also perform few other tasks like this one. So if I want to retweet a tweet, I don't have to now go to the application, but just retweet a tweet directly from the notifications area itself. Now let's talk about multitasking. Now that's a thing which we have been liking on the Samsung devices and finally this is going to come up on the Android N which is going to be the native support for you. Now that's very interesting. If you notice here's a very quick demo of how it works. You just have to tap on the multitasking button on the right bottom and then select the other application. You can also just swipe up from the bottom right and directly select the first application and then the second one from the multitasking cards. And here let me just quickly tweet something using this multitasking option to show you how it actually works. So the moment I started composing the tweet, it actually took me to the complete interface. But then again, if you notice on the right side, there's a multitasking uh, icon which is showing up. So once I'm done with this, I'll just tap onto that and it will again go back to the multitasking screen or the split screen. And here we are onto the split screen. Let's go back and complete this tweet. And here's how it works. So you can actually uh, resize the same, the window to whatever size you wish to or just swipe it completely down and the uh, split screen window will be closed and you'll be going back to the primary application which we're using in the top. So that's how it actually works. Now let's talk about the battery which has been the biggest issue on all the Android smartphones and with Android Marshmallow, Google had introduced the dose mode which would ensure that the phone would uh, save the battery while you have kept it in not a use state during the night and the battery would still stay at up to the same percentage. But now with Android 7.0 or maybe the Android 6.1 or whatever Google would announce in the Google I.O. event, the dose would actually work whenever the screen is off. And that's something which we can only know once we start using it. So right now the batteries are 42% and I can comment more once I would use this phone for the next few days and then I can comment more on uh, how good this dose mode actually works and uh, is it really helping us in saving the battery or not. As of now, these are the few options which we get under the battery area. Google now allows the system level number blocking. Now that said, we now have a native support for blocking the numbers and that's very easy. You just have to have the latest uh, phone dialer application on your phone and then with the inbuilt support of blocking the numbers, you can easily block a number and ensure that you do not get any calls or any notifications from that said number. Again, it's very easy to also unblock the same. Now let's talk about always on VPN. You can always enable the VPN on your phone but there is a new mode wherein you can selectively select the applications for which you always want to enable the VPN whenever those applications are running in the background or in the foreground. So here is a case where I will show you a demo of the same. Here you can select the VPN profile so I have installed a few applications like the Tunnel Bear, Express VPN and Opera Max VPN while the Opera Max VPN is uh, something I prefer all the time so that's set up under the always on VPN. 
Now the final feature which I want to talk about is the emergency contacts or the emergency information. Now this is a feature which you can enable any time from the settings under which you have the option of user and here you can set it up. You, can, you need to mention all the information which is given there that's pretty much recommended like the full name, then the address, date of birth, then your blood group, allergies and uh, organ donor and any medical conditions and also most importantly you should add the emergency contact of yours to ensure that in case of any emergency someone who has uh, got hold of your phone can easily contact someone who you have listed under your emergency contacts. Now that said these were few of the features of the Android N which we have found till now and we have added a link in the description to know more about the other things which we will be finding out. But that said you can clearly see how bad the issues are right now the keyboard is lagging that's and this is the default google based keyboard and i'm not able to easily even uh, tweet a reply and that's something which is uh, not recommended for you guys to install on your primary phone at the moment if you would like to try it out you can still try it out on your secondary device and for that you just have to go to the link given in the description area below to know the process of the same this was a video on the 10 things we know about the Android N preview build and uh, all the new features of the same. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and stay subscribed to Phone Up for more videos like these. This is Amit signing off and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.